hello friends today we are discussing the topic trend analysis we know there are different types of horizontal analysis we have already gone through comparative statements etc now we have trend analysis trend analysis is also called trend percentage analysis in case of trend analysis we take one year as the base year we will be given with data for different years so one year data is taken as base year and trades if figures as 100 the base year figures are taken as 100 and we will calculate the trend percentage okay it may be trend percentage or trend ratio or graphical method in case of trend analysis we take the base year as 100 base year figures are taken as 100 for example if you are preparing the statement for 2018 and 2019 then 2018 first year is taken as base year and all the figures of 2018 as taken as 100 changes in items are shown in different years changes we will find the changes by using the equation current year amount divided by base year amount for example if we are giving an example in 2019 the data in 19 the data is uh, 250 then in 2018 the data is 200 here the first year is taken as base year and the figures of 2019 are calculated based on the data of 2018 so when we show the trend analysis in 2018 the figure will be taken as 100 it is the base year and in 2019 we will take the figure as current year amount current year amount means 2015 divided by base year amount base year amount is 200 into 100 okay then now we will get a percentage 125 this 125 will be taken as the 2019 figure this is how we will prepare this trend analysis here is an example sales in 2018 is 500 2019 is 650 okay here the 500 2018 is taken as 100 and we will find the trend of 2019 which is 130 it is calculated as 650 current year amount divided by 500 this is not 50 it is 500 500 into 100 okay now we will get the amount 130 this is how we will prepare trend analysis statement i am giving you an example from the examination point of view okay calculate the trend percentage we have given different years 2004 to 2008 and we have given the details of sales stock profit before tax etc okay when we prepare the trend percentage statement simply we have to provide all these columns and also we have to go provide columns for trend percentage here also trend percentage column here also trend percentage column and in 2004 all the figures are taken as 100 this is taken as 100 this is taken as 100 in the trend percentage column the base year amounts everything will be taken as 100 okay in 2005 we will show it as 2340 divided by 100,000 and 100, 881 into 100. This amount of percentage will be shown here. Okay, have a look at this the solution. Here, the base year is 2004. So all the figures of 2004 are taken as 100. Okay, here 1,881. This figure is taken as 100. Here it is taken as 100. Then in all these cases here also it is taken as 100 okay then in 2005 we will show the amount in trend percentage 
in trend percentage this is 124 how we will get 1000 124 it will be 2340 divided by the base year figure base year figure is 1881 okay this is how we will get 124 how we will get 141 2655 divided by 1881 okay this is how we will prepare the trend analysis statement okay here 2004 is taken as base year trend in sales 2005 2340 by 1809 adutathu 2006 2655 divided by 1881 into 100 this is how we will prepare trend analysis statement I am giving you another example, a simple example. Prepare trend analysis statement. 2015, 16, 17, 18. Amounts are given 500, 600, 450, 750. Okay. Then here we are preparing trend analysis statement. 2000 years are shown here. These are the years data. Next column we will prepare, we will give the amount, the already given item. Then... first year data 2015 data is taken as 100 okay then next year 2016 we will find the trend as 600 how we will get 120 600 divided by 500 base year data into 100 this is how 120 is got how we will get 90 how we will get 90 450 current year amount divided by base year amount is first year amount 500 into 100 this is the way of preparing trend analysis statement okay then another example is given here okay cash then debtors stock other current assets land building plant a balance sheet items are given okay we have given 2000 10 11 11 12 four years data are given how we can make a trend analysis statement it is prepared in the same format by giving additional columns for trend percentage okay the same format we have prepared it but we have added additional columns for trend percentage okay here is trend percentage column trend percentage column for the four years we will add trend percentage column okay here the first year 2011 data it is taken as base year so all the figures of 2000 first year are taken as 100 and the other figures are taken as a percentage of 100 okay this is the way of preparing trend analysis statement i think you have got the idea as to how to prepare trend analysis statement i am giving you an assignment prepare trend analysis statement from the following details year 2016 17 18 19 sales profits from these figures you have to prepare trend analysis statement i will give you a clue as to how to prepare trend analysis statement firstly we will provide the column year okay here we will show 2016 17 18 90 another sales column in sales column 1000 1400 then 850 then 1150 then another column is sales percentage trend percentage column for sales first year 2016 it is taken as 100 because it is the base year okay in 2000 17 how we will show the amount it is shown as 1400 divided by 1000 is equal to 140 so second year we will take as 140 next year 850 divided by 1000 okay 85 this is the way of preparing the statement the columns to be provided once more year column second sales column the next trend percentage column for sales 
നെക്സ്റ്റ് കോളം പ്രോഫിറ്റ് കോളം ദെൻ അഗെയിൻ ട്രെൻഡ് പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഫോർ സെയിൽസ് ഓക്കെ ഓൾ ദ ഡാറ്റ ഓഫ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ആർ സ്പെസിഫൈഡ് ഇൻ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ദീസ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ഡാറ്റാസ് ആർ സ്പെസിഫൈഡ് ആസ് എ പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് ഓഫ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ഇൻ ടു തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു വെരി മച്ച്